ladies and gentlemen. What, ladies? Let's be honest. Is there any ladies watching? To the few that do watch, all right? First of all, what's up, beautiful? How are you? All right? Ladies and gentlemen, when you don't have money and you hear that greed is one of the seven deadly sins, I was saying, like, why? Like, isn't that a good thing? Shouldn't you want more money and more money? Right? Logically speaking, right? Isn't chasing after more money and more and more is a good thing, right? But the older I got, I realized why greed is a deadly sin because, I mean, you know, you're Albert, okay, out of Miami, dodged and 6 9 your way, Takashi 6 9 your way, out of the Shadow Crew indictment, you're now an employee. Not just an informant, but an employee. You got a job with you know you're not working at Burger King. You're not you're not a stock trader either. Wall Street. <laughs> you're not a, a surgeon. Okay. You are working in the Secret Service office. A ex cyber criminal who I mean given given your activity previously. You should have been in with the same guys you did dirty and ratted on. <sighs> right? You still decided to go forward and run up and do the, the, the what was it called? The war, the driving war, the driving trick, parking lot to parking lot, hacking hundreds of millions of cards. Like 100 million cards, TJX, then 130 million at um, Heartland. That's 230 million cards. On top of that, you got an automatic sniffer sending you updated cards as they being swiped. So infinity cards, really. But all of that, <laughs> not enough. At this point, Albert is playing both the cat and the mouse. He's hacking, stealing millions of credit card numbers, millions, hundreds of millions, and working with the very same people that are trying to track down who is responsible for these uh, Guinness World Record breach hacks. World records yet to be, uh, yo, we're in, this happened in 2005, what, five, six, right? We are in 2022 with all the cybercrime in the world. Nobody's broke that record yet. Not even Joker stash. Either way, Albert has been using a Russian hacker named Maxim Yastremsky. Yeah, Maxim Yastre. Maxim Yastremsky. Maxim. To sell <clears throat> info to the European market for the past two years. If you remember, the hub of, of, of all the, the hacking, of the black hat hacking, Swiping, uh, it really all started down in Eastern Europe. You feel me? The Russia, Ukraine. So when the Americans, you know, they're still, let's be honest, Americans think they're smart. No offense. There's a lot of savvy people, way more. All right, no offense. Who are, you know. So these folks over there had the game uh, going crazy, booming. They had the trap booming, like Metro booming. While the Americans were just still, you know, doing the little e-based thing. 
They didn't even have a you know plug for the stuff. Maybe they did. I don't know, but just not as much as the 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 uh, uh, Eastern Europe or European guys. Okay. So Carter Planet, you know, seized operations, but it's still a bunch of, you know, European dudes on the loose. You feel me? Out there in poor countries trying to run it up. At the same time, another Secret Service agent was buying these credit card dumps from Maxime. Little undercover guy, right? As they work, as they worked to indict him and locate his suppliers, can see now the Secret Service. All right, the same people who took down the Shadows crew is now trying to figure out uh, what's going on here. Why does Maxime from Latvia <laughs> have a bunch of uh, working fire uh, PCCs cards from uh, down in uh, Miami. You know what I mean? <laughs> How'd you get that, Maxime? So they're trying to get really to the bottom of this and, and, and figure out, you know, that's their job. Now you got Maxime going on the internet. All right. Going on these forums, talking about my brother. You must try the CC. It's very good. I get, I get the good CC. Nobody gets CC like a Maxime. Maxime is the the greatest. The greatest. This is not the Shadow Crew, my friend. That is American uh, nonsense. Nonsense. You want a good credit card? You come to Maxime. I am the best best carder. In Eastern Europe, Sika Blit. Sika Blit. Let me So, you got the Secret Service trying to figure out what's up with Maxime, all right? How is he plugged in on, 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 on good working CCs? I mean, almost infinitely. From Florida, and you got TJX who can't hire a cybersecurity expert. All right, but they want to, they love to call up the, the 12 or the feds in this case. It just shows you, like, you know, the times. No one, the internet was still new, and no one understood the value of, of, of cybersecurity, you know? This was a time when, when, when if you told somebody, I do cybersecurity, they would have laughed at you. They would have been like, ha ha ha, cyber, are you computer guy? Like it wasn't, it wasn't like today where internet and computers kind of like run our whole entire, uh, you know, like nowadays it's, it's, you can't live, everything is based on it. Hospitals, whatever, banks. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, either way. So the Secret Service field office out in San Diego, they've been keeping tabs. All right. They have been tracking Maxime. Matter of fact, they like Maxime so much, they gave him his own operation. Just like they gave the whole Shadow Crew up, they gave him a special one. Yeah, since 2005, they called it the Carter Chaos with K's instead of C's. I swear to God. The Carter Chaos, my friend, Maxime, you got your own operation. Now. This operation continued until Maxime got arrested in July of 2007. Oh boy. Authorities all right, seized his laptop. And then they start going through it. 
as they as they do, you know, as 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 one does, <laughs> and they start reading conversations or, or or messages with him and his his main supplier, the plug. All right, but you know this is dark web business. It's not like it's gonna say Albert, but the name says Segvik, like S E G V E C. Segvik, my brother, you get a carder kios and I want Segvik. He is the blog, my brother. You must buy. Again, I mean no offense. I did accents from all over the place. If you watched the previous, you know. I love all countries. I just like to I do that. It's my thing. All right? So, they find messages from an account named, it's all numbers, so I'm going to read it out quick. 2016. Seven nine 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 RP Juice World six and they the conversation was pretty much a, a discussion. Uh, it was one you know, uh, as they call them, cyber criminal. All right, but we're not gonna use those uh, uh, Fox News labels. We're really trying to understand this from unbiased so let's say one hacker all right one 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 cyber gangster all right one uh one uh black hat to another all right <laughs> discussing the attack all right on dave and busters and the blah blah software they've been using since tjx6 tjx sorry no. tjx hack Basically, they open his his little IRC or uh, PHP thingy, whatever it's called. Forget the name. And they find these uh, 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 accounts pretty much bragging like, "Hey yo, I don't know his. I, I don't know how Kumbajani sounds, but you know, he's a white man, but he is from Florida, so he's an island boy. So he, uh, I'm gonna give him an accent." Until we hear what he sounds like when he's released, inshallah. So, hey, yo, you know me, man. I don't play no games. All right? You heard about TJX? Yeah, I did that. Matter of fact, 130 mil, that's nothing. 100 mil, that's nothing. I'm the biggest stunner. Okay? I got a brand new CC every time somebody swipe. All right? We got a new software. Guess what it's called? What, what what what's it called, my friend? You are talking too much. Hey, yo, guess what? Guess what? Check this out. It's called blah blah. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what the conversation was like, you know. Give or take the words. So nine 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 six. All right. <laughs> Ask Maxime to supply one of his cashers. With a fake passport, as they recently have been arrested. So he hit him up like, Maxime, my guy out there, huh? Russia, what's up, gang? Hey, yo, one of my, one of my, one of my little uh, uh, strikers, you know, one of my little uh, runners, got uh, 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 got got down, you know. So, but uh, yes, I understand. I understand, my friend. That is uh, bad news, bad news. You should uh, move to Russia. We drink the vodka here, vodka. Yeah, 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 one other time, man. You know, I'm an island boy. But listen, uh, you think you can sort out uh, a, little, a little passport for the, for Buddy? All right, he trying to do the race, all right? He ain't trying to, he ain't trying to find a beat. He's trying to beat a case, okay? Yeah, TK is a rapper. He's going to be big in the future. He actually is going to be in jail. Oh, how crazy. <laughs> Chill out. So he asked him for a fake passport. 
the feds then use this information because obviously you're trying to get a passport, right? All right, you in a dark web trying to get a fake ID, whatever you try to do. Even if you're given a fake name or whatever, you're still going to supply a picture, my friend. All right. But you're going to get plastic surgery. So the feds use this, this information and track down every person that literally got arrested for fraud across the country. Who is the striker that is trying to do the race with a fake passport? They want to know. I mean, this striker is the is the only lead and a direct lead, direct link as well, to Mr. 996. Or I'm going to stop calling him that stupid name. We know who it is, okay? They're trying to get to Albert, but they don't know it's him yet. So they're still trying to, like, figure it out, all right? Whole time, Albert... <laughs> Sitting in their office, all right? You know how they have the little water coolers in the office? Albert is sitting over there, probably cracking jokes with the next agent, all right? Uh, 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 doing the 6 9 duty, uh, 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 drinking water at their cooler, talking about the weather. It's like, oh, cold, nice weather? Yeah, Miami. Yeah, we should go on fresh and fit later. Huh? But yo, let's keep going, all right? Cause this, 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 this story is just. Uh, I'm really speechless, bro. Like, Albert, Albert, man, you are one hell of a guy. Holla. Now, you might be wondering. Why did the the feds or Secret Service? No, actually, why specifically? I'm gonna tell you why the Secret Service, specifically them, not the FBI. Secret Service. I mean, these are the same people who protect the president and stuff, right? Like they're more so. They're all part of the same machine, but they protect. They're a little bit more secret service is a little bit uh uh it's not like uh, they're not uh, they're not the ones who are coming to get your mask that's standing on a block with a three five for 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 fifty dollars their type of crimes that they go after if you notice are are usually more uh, political more to do with the so this is for this is for, for my viewers, because I know some some of y'all be swiping. Okay? I know, statistically speaking. Otherwise, my music wouldn't be hot. You know? So I know it's a lot of y'all swiping. Unlike what my music suggests, I always tell y'all, leave, get out that, get out the game, okay? Try to turn your life around. Look at me. I, tur I turn my life around. If you can make money illegally, then you're smart enough to make it legally, especially if you're in a computer stuff, right? Uh, the re like you might be just thinking like, oh, I'm just a nerd doing funny stuff, trolling or whatever, you know, whatever type of cyber activity you're doing, <laughs> swiping cars, all right? Let me tell you something. The reason a secret service went so hard after this random uh, Russian dude, when they don't even have jurisdiction to extradite him, even if they could. But they went after this Russian, uh, uh, this random <laughs> Maxim out there in Russia, with, uh, Latvia, or uh, Czechoslovakia, or whatever he's from. Or you, be, you might be thinking, oh, I'm swiping. I'm a swiper. Y'all be posting on Instagram. Dumb. Dumb. Really dumb. Because you're not, this is not, I mean, yes, it's a victimless crime. I'm not talking in terms of morals here. Again, I'm trying to be unbiased. But hear me out. 
when you're doing your thing, it sounds funny and innocent, like it's a computer crime, huh? But the Secret Service don't see it that way. It's victimless in the moment, right? The bank will reimburse whoever you swipe through, whatever. But you understand, you know, banks, it's it's dirty system, again, I know. But these banks get bailouts and stuff and a lot of that money. So you you really hurting not not a person or two. All right. Otherwise it'd be the FBI, stay hurting us state or two, state uh state to state or whatever. But now nah, you are damaging a country's economy by doing because fraud or cyber fraud, swiping specifically cards, credit cards, you're messing. <laughs> As a matter of fact, one of the types of wars, not see, not all wars are fought on a battlefield like back in the day with uh, sticks and stones or, or, or firearm. Nowadays, weapons are fought. Uh, on a cyber net, you've seen it with Stuxnet, which I hope to cover soon. And we've seen it with North Korea. And we, uh, uh, actually, no, that was money motivated. That was they were doing the same thing Albert was doing, trying to run up a bag. But hear me out. Wars now are fought economically, as proven by China. I keep talking about them. I'll do more. I know you. I got a lot more to say, but you see, wars are being fought economically. You see what I'm saying? U.S. and the and the red guys over there. All right, they've been having tensions since like Cold War. So when you get a a, a Russian dude, or it could be a bunch of dudes, they don't know, right? It's just the. I mean, especially when. When the hack and breaches are in the hundreds, I'm talking hundred million, one week, all right, a couple, a couple time go by, a hundred thirty mil, like, like you, you, when you're a secret service agent who's receiving a call and breaking down to your team, okay, and you tell them, hey, they just took a hundred million cards and they did it again. All right, we, we let that go. Well, for 130 mil, now you got Maxim all the way in Russia selling, uh, all right, selling uh, Florida pieces. They're not thinking that this is a dude, uh, uh, a stupid dude, may I say. As much as I like him, but yeah, a stupid dude named Albert, all right, who, uh, who really likes to troll online and play video games. They're not thinking that. They're thinking this is a state level actor, you know. They're thinking this is like a, a, a especially when you get a, ru- a Russian dude. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they take it really serious. If you're out here swiping, just understand not only is it a federal crime, but also it's it's, it's politics in there. Uh, you know they play dirty, so just you know watch out, man. All right, there's hope for everybody. If you're free, watching this in the free world, God gave you a chance, bro. Turn your life around. All right. So, Secret Service, you know, all what I just said here, taken into consideration. Now you understand their mentality. All right, they're thinking this is a a, a, a nation... uh, yeah, a nation-sponsored uh, actor, or as they call it. They're thinking this is like a government elite hackers trying to damage the American economy. All right. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the early days of the internet too. So, you know, nowadays, <laughs> there's so much hacking going on that you drown in the sea of trying to figure out who's who. But back then, people usually fear what they don't understand or know much about. So in the early days of the internet, and these hundreds of millions taken into consideration here, all right, 
and not a lot of people hip to the internet, especially like old government folks, you know? They're thinking in terms of war already. That's their whole, that's their job, right? Oh, this must be Putin sending out his uh, minions. Yeah. So they go hard, man. And they went extra hard on this Maxime dude, like their life depended on it. The Secret Service run back to their databases, okay? And they start pulling every single arrest record made in the past, like, uh, uh, you know, for recent period for fraud across the country. And boom, bam, like Kondo says, boom, bam, boom. They finally find a case matching the description. All right. Dude named Jonathan Williams was arrested with 200 bands. Woo! 200K. All right. Uh, 50K short from a quarter million. And 80 blank cards. 80 pieces. That sounds nice. I mean, yeah, sure. You got a little arrest, little arrest record. But um, what's the highlight here? Is it the pieces, the 200 bands? Wrong, wrong, wrong. You highlight, my friend. <laughs> oh, la. I'm telling you, this 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 story just every time I think it can't get crazier, it gets crazier. Dog had a picture of who? A picture of of of, of Jesus on a what? Nah. A signed autograph uh poster picture of Fifty Cent maybe. I mean he was popping back in the day. nah. Picture of who then? AK Debris? The best YouTuber on a platform, maybe? All right. Nah, not that either. Even though that would have been pretty nice to have a, uh, you know, he is a handsome dude, I heard. But no, my friend, they found a picture of none other than Albert, AKA Kumba Johnny, AKA 2016 Okay. AKA Soup N Word. The N Word that, 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 that was, uh, did uh, d- d- Hitler and stuff. That N Word, not my N Word. <laughs> not N Word with E R or A, N Word that A Z I. Again, this is, he's not racist. He's, he's Cuban. This is the early internet. Culture was different, okay? It wasn't offensive. It was funny, but yeah, they found a pic of Albert. Nice little picture. Huh? Should have took a selfie. Crazy, right? I'm not done, guys. Hold on a second. Pay attention. I told you, this story just keeps getting crazier and crazier the more we go. So they found a pic of Albert. Cool. Maybe he was... uh, uh, coincidence, right? Maybe he, I don't know, idolize him, whatever. Oh, no. He get a copy. Remember the last few, one of the last episodes, I told you, the plug for the pros, usually we have a credit report, all right? <laughs> this man had a whole pro. of He had Albert's pro, his profile. He had a copy of Albert's Credit report. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. On top of that, he had an address. Not just Albert, because credit report, if you don't don't know, okay? In case you don't know, you're just that not educated. Credit report, usually, it's like a, (laughs) it has a list of addresses that you've lived in. Phone numbers. So not only did he get all this juicy info, all right, 
that link comes straight directly with the with picture confirmation. Because if it was just the pro, they could have been like, ah, he's a swiper. All right, he's he's already busting scams, so you know he had a he bought a little pro to use. They could just wanna no, nah, he had a picture with it, so you know it's personal. All right, might as well married him. <laughs> Holla. Might as well had his underwear hung in there. Oh, I'm, let me tell. Belle Delphine? Maybe. Anyway. Now get ready. I told you this gets crazier and crazier, bro. Like, I know your jaws probably dropped a hundred times already, but I need you to give it support using your hand and hold your jaw because it's about to drop to the floor. Your jaw, this is early 2000s, right? The story. Your jaw is about to drop it like it's hot. Drop it, drop it, drop it like it's hot. Because the final nail <laughs> and the coffin, ooh wee. Izzy wrote that, worded that perfectly too, man. Ooh, nail in the coffin. Ah, December. 2007, Secret Service. You know that name he was using? 2016, seven, nine, 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 Juice World six. Guess what? <laughs> oh, lay. It was registered that email address. They were able to find the email address. It is registered to, which is, soup, n. EF <laughs> net dot ru dot ru is key. Ooh wee. They know who Soup N is. Okay. The Secret Service was well aware of Albert's teenage days as Soup. Huh? N. Online. And the picture starts to become very clear. All right. They were expecting to see like a, 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 you know the Russian um, army, they have this little big coat and the hats they be wearing? You know the hats? I'm guessing those uh, uh, secret service dudes with the glasses and suits, all right? They thinking they was finna find like some, uh, they are thinking they are uh, bad boys, bad boys, or men in black or something because, you know, they thought they was hunt hunting down... <laughs> Osama, and, you know, the way they was doing it, they were expecting to see some nation-level state actor. You know, dude who probably, in the, in the service, he probably was thinking he was going to go back to the president, like, Mr. President, I have great news. We have found them. These are rich and state actors trying to damage the economy. We found them and we put a stop to them. Excellent work, my friend. Excellent work. Good job. Good job. Uh, uh, I'm going to go back to sleep now because I'm Sleepy Joe. And uh, yeah, uh, America's a great country, but uh, I'll see you later. Bitcoin, national security. I got to go to bed. You'll get a raise. We'll add the budget. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Joe Biden, sir. No problem. No problem, my son. I'll get out of here. Get out of here. And go give me some pizza, huh? Wink, wink. <laughs> you feel me? So they was thinking they was finna come back on some, yo, I just got Osama. Osama been swiping. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> what they ended up finding out was the whole time. Uh, 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 it's almost like they did a, a, a psychedelic journey or something because they kept going here and there, and here and there, up, down, left, triangle, X, R2, trying to search for this person. Whole time, this person was inside of him. <laughs> I mean, literally, he, uh, he's inside the office, chilling, drinking out water from the cooler, asking, how's the weather, boss? Sunny day today or what, my buddy? <laughs> well, that sounds Canadian. That's not... Uh... I'm telling you, this story, jaw dropping, bro. Like it just, it just. 
Like, you can't make this up, bro. Like, Albert, what were you thinking, bro? Sorry, bro. Like, I'm just, this one hits me, like, passionate about this type of stuff. Like, and I'm from the streets, bro. So, like, I, I tech people all the time. Like, you do stupid. Bro, what were you thinking, bro? World records, really? What, you want a diamond plaque for hacking, my brother? 70K a party wasn't enough for you? Man, you had 100 mil uh, numbers. Who cares if they didn't work? You could have just sold them and they didn't work. And who cares? You would have got your little money and moved on. You see what I'm saying with the greed? This is why it's a deadly sin. Look where it led him. The whole nation's uh, defense <laughs> launched onto the world only to come back to itself. Not, not, not just in itself, its own field office. He's chilling out there drinking the water from the cooler. Like an episode from the office. How you doing, Dwight? Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> Let me pull a prank on you. What? My boy. You must be crazy. I thought Brett was crazy because he did. He watched a little. Uh, uh, he watched. He went on the hub. Yes, he did. And he did some hacking or whatever he did. He bought some CCs. But nah, he was stupid. But Albert, you're all yeah. You're stupid as well. But you're stupid to like you took stupid to a whole new level. You know what I'm saying? It's like. <laughs> oh my god let me chill out because this is I'm getting fired up talking about this you know free Albert man because he's older now and I hope that he come out and, and, and we get interviews and talk to this man because he's interesting but at the same time if I do sit down with Albert you know and I start interviewing people I'm not gonna be the type of interviewer that's gonna be like oh yeah so you're really cool. So tell us about this. Nah, I'm going to be having, it's like the Joe Rogan except with a real N-word, okay? I'm going to be talk, I'm talking like a real N. I'm going to be like, hey, bro, you know, I, 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 I support you and I respect you came around to turn your life. But hey, that was, that was dumb. And we laugh about it. <sighs> Enough of me rambling. Even though I had to ramble because I know a lot of y'all needed to. This is why I cover these stuff. Not only to, to, to educate you on the history, but we learn history. That's interesting, but also to learn from uh, mistakes. Not saying you should do fraud and make no mistakes. I'm just saying just avoid it altogether, my friend, because... A uh, 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 smart man or man learns from his own mistakes. A smart man learns from others' mistakes. And if we don't learn our history, we're doomed to repeat it. I know you've heard that before. Uh, so they they found you know the credit report, the picture, all right, the email with the user on it. So. They knew what's up at this point, all right? Things made sense. I'm guessing they were embarrassed. And uh, one thing about when you humiliate the, the American government specifically, they seem to take it, I don't know why. I mean, you're just doing it. Uh, I mean, I guess I know why. It is kind of patriotic or whatever, right? But they take it personal, like revenge. Comes May, May of 2008. Okay. Boom, bam. All right. They raid the homes of Christopher Scott. All right. Remember Knowledge is Power guy? Stephen Watt, the guy who coded the thingy, that the packet sniffer. They raid Chris, Mr. Watts, and Albert, finally. Kumba Johnny, Mr. 996, Mr. Soup 
hell. This is just jokes, obviously. Hitler. That's what the N for. He said soup N. That type of N. The Hitler N. Not the, what up, my N? Nah. Neither nor. All right, moving on. They they raid him just like they raid the people he ratted on. All right, things came back full circle, which I feel like Takashi's gonna end up the same way the way he's moving. And I warn him, but they say I'm a hater. What do I know? I'm just a guy on the internet, right? They searched the homes. All right. They I'm sorry. They bust down Albert's door. You know Americans how they do. They act like it's Iraq. Kick the dough in. They find and arrest Patrick Tui. All right, Tui just chilling, trying to hit the bong. What's going on, dude? I'm just trying to hit the bong, dude. All right. But Albert himself, nowhere to be found. They go to his girlfriend's spot. All right. His his little tika, if you will. All right. A little mamacita, all right? Maybe he went over there to uh, uh, clap some culo, all right? No, still can't find him. Damn, where'd Albert go? Maybe he's maybe he's not looking for that type of love right now. Maybe he, uh, he's, he feels worried or whatever, all right? Maybe he found out they're looking for him. So he needs a different type of love, the family love. So they go to his parents' house. But guess what? Still can't find him. Damn, bruh. Secret service and you can't find this as a teenager with a haircut that looked like Todd off of Mario? Where could he be? Maybe he's at the ATM. Nah, I'm playing. They didn't think that. Although, it, hey, given the circumstance, hey, really could have been at the ATM, huh? <laughs> oh, lay. But you see, snitching on people and telling, you know, he, he was the one to tell and bring down, huh? Telling, rather. I don't I'm not a criminal, I don't care, but he was doing that, right? He told over a couple of CCs. But karma came to hit him, hit him with the, hit him with the, all right, audio warning. I'm about to simulate it. Actually, no, I can't simulate it. I mean, yeah, it's just a slap. Karma came and slapped him, okay? It's a gentle slap, YouTube. Don't, don't, yeah. It's not simulating violence. This is just audio. I could have been, I'm smacking my own hand and I feel no pain, YouTube. Do not demonetize me. This doesn't constitute violence as I don't feel pain from it. Okay? It's the same type of pain as a workout in a gym. All right, YouTube team. Okay. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Mwah. I love you. Don't, don't play with me. Besides the point, like I said, he was the one to tell voluntarily and also make not just tell on a case and just move on <laughs> nah he may tell in his full-time job with the with the with the agents right so life came back full circle with a slap to the face somebody called the agents all right they receive a tip oh you know that tip <laughs> just a tip let me chill they get a tip and they pull up to find Albert, and they arrest him at a nearby hotel. He ain't even go too far. He's just at the hotel, bro. All right. He was trying to see what's up on on, on the. Uh, this is before they shut it down. Back page or whatever, right? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, now. I'm not saying what Albert did is right at all, any shape, form, nor that I recommend it, enable it, encourage it, nothing. I think it's, it's a crime. But the sentence he got for it is a bit ridiculous. 
especially when we were talking about it. I mean, the dude didn't, the, he didn't uh, take nobody's life, okay? He didn't kick nobody's door with a strap, all right? He didn't go slide down and do a drive-by. Why does a computer hacker, I mean, yeah, he did kind of embarrass them, but he got two, he got sentenced, bruh, like two, two consecutive 20-year sentences, 40 years. 40 years, 20, two consecutive 20 years. So total 40. What's the breakdown? One for the TJX, the 100 mil credit cards. And even if he ain't use them, you know how they play. They're going to charge you with the 100. All right. Maybe they even throw in a couple million sprinkles just to make it sound good in court. If your lawyer not that good, he might not argue with Don and you end up sticking. <laughs> good Lord. God forbid, man. Huh? <sighs> yeah, I still... It's, even though he did what he did. Listen, guys, government, agents, whoever. I heard the Homeland Security be watching YouTubers. If you're watching this, hear me out. I speak the truth, bruh. I'm not Sneeko yelling about boys and girls. I'm telling you, bruh, straight up. Is it because he's Cuban? Why'd you slap him with 40 years for a non-violent offense? Listen, bruh. I was young and stupid. There was a period of my life. I ain't gonna talk too much. But I probably was dumb just like these guys. They were, they were young. Look at, what's his name? The other dude. He came out in 2011. He escaped too, right? He did arguably, I mean, in the physical real world, <laughs> you know, escape like that's physical. You actually jump and walk out the, the, the prison, right? He did got us escaped and did all that and this and that and bust down checks at the, at the tech cashier. He ain't get that much time. He got released 2011. Again, is it because he's Cuban? Because the way, like, and no disrespect, I like Brett, but Brett describes his experience with the agents like a, like a friendly, uh, you know, banter. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just coming to arrest you. Yeah, sure, go ahead, man. I already know. Brett, stop it. We're getting reports. You've been doing fraud on eBay. If you don't return this money, we're gonna put you under the jail. Yeah, all right, Mr. Cop. I'm going to refund him. All right. <laughs> That's literally what he describes it like. But is it because the dude is Cuban you want to throw him the book? 40 years? He didn't... Yo, listen. I'm sorry. I'm going to say the word. He didn't kill nobody. 40 years for what? He didn't sell no crack. All right. Yes, he did a little bit of damage. 100 million people probably had their cards were going to expire next year. Anyway, he's a dumb, stupid idiot, sure. You know, I'm not a monster, okay? I was raised Muslim. The good kind of Muslim. You know, I took, I, I'm not religious now. I don't really practice anything. But I'm just saying, I took the good lessons. They always taught you that don't be cold hearted, you know? Pretty sure every religion says the same thing. I don't know why they are beef, but have mercy. Okay? Kumba. And I'm sorry, this is a failure on the justice system, bro. Like, you got cops who. Uh, 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 step on people's necks and stuff, you know? And they don't get 40 years. You giving him 40 for a computer crime? Let's take into account that this happened in a time of fear of computers, right? Can't he come out, bro? He's older now. How long has it been since he seen a computer? I think the time he spent is more than enough to have learned his lesson. Assign him a parole officer. Let's 
let him decide. But he he deserves that chance, you know. Forty years is ridiculous. He wasn't trying to hold nobody. He he wasn't kidnapping people. It's either because he's Cuban or it's because it's personal beef with the government, uh, Secret Service. <sighs> Just like the Twitter hacker kid. He's 17, bro. Have mercy when you throw these people in the bin for years. Like, that could have been your son. And I have no issues with... with, with I, I don't think... Uh, drug users should be arrested. So I don't. I'm not saying arrest him. But I'm just saying, if if what's his name, uh, my boy, shout out to him. I like him actually. Uh, Hunter. All right. Actually, I don't like him anymore because the laptop. I didn't mind the 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 smoke in the pipe. That's okay. But the laptop, uh, it's kind of hard to defend you there, buddy. All right. You was eating too much pizza. All right, he needed to try a taco or something. If he can roam around, basically doing action movie, jungle, kung fu, panda, Jackie Chan, uh, 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 rush hour movies, and, and this, the same secret service that put Albert away for 40 years for this computer crime. Just being a stupid teenager. She is stupid. I'm not his lawyer, but I... C if I was, I'd say this. Let him go. Free Albert. Uh, 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 these draconic sentences, like, these are human beings. This is not a Sims avatar. This is not a video game character. All right? Horrible. And he's not some hardened criminal. He's a, he's a, he's a stupid kid. And shout out to Izzy. But Izzy wrote a nice little conclusion here. Let's go through it. So what can we learn from Brett and Albert? What can we learn, Izzy? Enlighten me, my friend. Both were arrested for fraud. Right. But unlike many... They were given an out. That's right. That's what I said before Izzy even... You see? That's why I like Izzy. They had the opportunity to work for the greater good. Izzy, I disagree with you here. I mean, I get it. Sure, they, they were given an opportunity to work uh, legally. But <laughs> I just told you, like, we, you know what I mean, Izzy? I mean, you know, uh, again, Hunter is on a running around loose with a laptop full of full of full of uh, <laughs> Domino's pizza. Okay, so I don't know what if that's the greater good. Okay, greater good is when it's fair. But I digress. Is he? That's a great piece of 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 of, of research you've done here today, buddy. But I just had to say that and insert my uh, uh, take. Moving on, they had the opportunity to work for the quote unquote greater good and uh, take down quote unquote criminals. <laughs> if you ask me, they are the criminals. <laughs> Who are collectively stealing millions from average people. Brett was a master of social engineering. A good scammer. <sighs> Not anymore, by the way. So he was a good... Uh, yeah, that's what he said it was, right? Albert was a brilliant hacker, right? Albert was talented with the computers. Talented. Whew! Waste. Put him in there for 40 years. We need him out. Free him. These talents were valued by the federal government. And both of these men was given a chance to tur turn their uh, stories around. Uh, yeah. But they were valued not because they're talented people and they want to see them 
you know, have them do cybersecurity here, protect. No, they were valued because they were informers. <laughs> Just like Takashi is valued. Okay. They're talented, I find, were undermined. But I don't blame the the them for that because again, this is 2005, four, you know. Again, you this is not like today with the internet and stuff. However, they both end up choosing to continue committing fraud. Yep. They were addicted to the fast money. Fast money is addictive, just like uh, uh, drugs, you know? To the fraud community. They just a bunch of cowards and snitches, rats, traitors. To the government, huh. It's not, not nothing better, bruh. All right? They're just some informants. All right? They don't even... Go, see, government don't respect snitches. Yeah, that's a fact. They judge you just like we judge you. But, you know, they do their job either way, right? But they lose respect. However, they were both to the government. They weren't some heroes. They were both liars and criminals. Okay? Evil. Evil computer supervillains. Who? That's what they think. And they were, you know? I'm not trying to defend them. I seen uh, Brett on Matt Cox's podcast brag about snitching. Uh, that must be that white people stuff, bro. Because even if I did what you did, I'd be a little bit more not so braggy about it, you know? In the end, they all turned on their friends. You know? Whether it be other hackers online or their friends like colleagues they made at the Secret Service. Is it addiction to the money? Is it addiction to the lifestyle? Is it just a, the thrill of it, of getting over some someone? The adrenaline, huh? Or were they a product of the environment that the feds created themselves? That's a good one, Izzy. You could argue that they were kept in a criminal mindset by the Secret Service. Instead of being taken away from these same online uh, evil communities, right? Fraudulent communities. And serving time for their initial ones and just continue. They, they were made to, uh, 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 sorry, turn their life around. They, they were made to continue their fraudulent activities. Enabled and allowed by the government. Yeah. Just so they can fill a quota. Oh, yeah, we arrested X amount of people. <laughs> Sad, man. The result is them committing crimes much larger. Damn, I didn't think about that. Both men should be held accountable and take responsibility for their actions. But the government role in the saga should not be underplayed. Powerful words, is he powerful? I don't know if it was Izzy or Shakespeare. The government role, I'm going to say it again. And the saga should not be undermined or underplayed. Hit the like button, man. Smash the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next one. Uh, hot stuff coming. If you hit the super thanks... I will shout your name out. Give my attention in case I don't see it. That being said, it's Billy Boy AK, one and only. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.